Hey, I'm James with PNW Outdoor Reviews, the channel for honest and simple reviews. And today we're talking about fatwood. So for anybody that doesn't know what fatwood is, it's wood that is saturated in its own resin or sap. Uh, for example, like a pine tree. You go touch the outside of a pine tree and we all know how sticky that is. Well, that's exactly what fills and saturates the wood, especially on like the base of it. Um, now, I want to start off by just saying thank you to the company Betterwood Products. They sent me an incredible like sample pack full of goodies. Um, they're not paying for this video. They just sent me a sample pack, see if I wanted to test it out. Well, anyone that knows this channel or knows me, I love playing with fire safely, but come on, fire's fun. So again, they sent me a very generous box of the actual fat wood and a bunch of other little fire starting products as well. Some more kind of different additions of their uh, fat wood. They also sent me this puck as well, which I'm gonna be testing in a later video. So just keep an eye out for that. I'll let you guys know, uh, but very intrigued about that. And they also, <clears throat> excuse me, also sent me some grilling products as well, which very anxious to try this out. So let me know, I'm gonna leave this up to you. What do you want me to test out on these cedar planks? Let me know. If there's some, some type of meat or whatever, let me know what you want to see and I will do it. It's going to be up to you. You guys make the final vote. Let's try something different. Back to the topic though, fatwood. Now, fatwood is a great product to have in with your gear, um, whether you're a hiker, camper, hunter, whatever, because you never know. Prepare for anything. And this is a easy product to have in with your gear because you don't need much of it, all right? Because like I said earlier, it catches a flame really easily and it burns for a good amount of time. So all you need to do is gather some additional wood, stack this on top of, you know, stack your wood on top of the fat wood and light your fire. And there you go. You should have a fire going, no problem at all, um, with the proper techniques, of course. So one thing I found that I like really, uh, what I like to do is to feather out my fat wood, all right? It catches a flame a lot easier, and ex especially if you don't have a working lighter and you have to use like a flint striker. If you feather out your fire stick or fat wood, um, it'll catch uh, your striker for flint striker, no problem at all. Um, but I also tested it out too. If you got just really crappy cheap matches, it lights. And so we're actually going to be testing that uh, on this video. So I'll show you here in just a minute, um, how this stuff burns. So just real simply, I'll say it again, you know, think about what you have in with your gear. You know, I'm going to preach this over and over and over again, always be prepared, always have the right stuff, you know, cause you just, you never know, prepare for the worst, honestly, cause you know, there's all those horror stories of hunters or hikers planning for just a day hike and they're stuck out there for two, three days trying to get found. So, you know, having reliable products such as Fatwood uh, is a great product to have because fire will save your life. You know, because with fire, you can clean your water and stay warm and cook food. I mean, fire is essential for life. So, you know, finding that product that works best for you and maybe fatwood isn't what's going to work best for you, but I like it just because it's natural, you know, it's not full of chemicals and simply fatwood just works. And, you know, anyone in the bushcraft community knows this is the stuff to create fire. So... Well, let's change gears, let's have some fun. Let's go ahead then, uh, and I'll show you guys how it burns. So my two favorite methods when igniting uh, the fat wood is if you're gonna use a flint striker, or again, if you have just really crappy matches or a lighter, I like to chop it up, you know, really make a fine pile of the fat wood grounds, uh, and this will pick up a spark or a match, no problem at all or the same method really if you feather it. Um, this really does pick up a flame much easier compared to if you leave it uh, just solid. Again, this will still light, um, but you just have to hold the flame up to it just a little bit longer uh, to get it to go versus you know, really opening it up um, and allowing for that kind of the more of the fresh resin 
inside of that wood to light. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to show you again just a crappy cheap match and just how easily it lights. I mean it's really it's effortless so using something like a flint striker that produces actually a lot more heat it proves right there how easily that will work for you. And same thing if you feather it out I mean, look how easy that is. Now my only complaint which again petty um, is that it does produce because of the resin or the sap in the wood it produces quite a bit of black smoke all right so this is to get your fire going this isn't to cook over okay so wait until your fire is actually burning and the fat wood has actually burnt up then I would recommend cooking over you know the fire itself but I don't know if you can really pick it up but you know again it does put out quite a bit of that soot so you know not not something you really want uh, if you're grilling fish over the fire <laughs> well everyone I really hope you like this video you know just a simple easy video explaining you know that would so you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. But really, I just really appreciate you guys spending your time watching the channel. So thank you, everyone, and I want you to have a great day.